Welcome to The Hollywood Scholar, I'm Jed Morgan, and this weekend has been a fascinating one for the box office, specifically with Top Gun Maverick, who had a really good weekend this week, despite it being its 12th week in release. Some really impressive numbers there, Bullet Train is dragging along, not doing as well as would have hoped, or as well as is necessary for a movie of this budget, and Thor Love and Thunder has ground to a halt, as I predicted it would, and it doesn't look like it's going to be gaining any more money over the next few weeks until it eventually just shoved onto Disney+ plus and forgotten but we have these domestic box office charts from the numbers right now the bullet train doing pretty good 13.4 million gross in domestically down 55% in its second week 55% is bad but not super duper bad it's like average bad more so than anything or average just in general uh, no theater change that's a good thing uh, theater changes is pretty common but the fact that they didn't lose any is very very good total gross is 54.48 million dollars domestically there's some really impressive stuff i'll jump into the detailed numbers in a second here but yeah some really impressive stuff from bullet train and considering the era considering where most mo movies aren't making any money whatsoever with the exception of top gun maverick most compared to most movies this year and last year bullet train is doing all right not as well as would be hoped but yeah, some really impressive numbers. Thor Love and Thunder is already in its sixth week of release, and it only made $5.3 million this weekend, and lost another 31%, and lost another 225 theaters. But Top Gun Maverick, it's not doing that. It actually gained 2% of its profit. In this late in the game, that has never before been seen as far as I'm aware, and it's back in the top three in its 12th week. That is freaking insane! This is going to like hold a record for being in the top three spots, or a contender for those at least, at both Memorial Day, 4th of July, and Labor Day, the three major summer holidays, and it was at the top of the box office for all three, or we're getting very close to that. That is going to be a very impressive record to see it broken, and it might be a good time to signal it departing. Now, there's a rumor that it's going to be re-released around Christmas with a two-parter with Top Gun 1. That'd be kind of interesting to get a little bit more money for it, but it's some really impressive stuff, and the studio has believed in it so much that they added it back into 421 theaters in its 12th week of release. You don't add movies to theaters. That's not something that happens unless it's like Avatar, where it's kind of like a late bloomer and then just explodes. Holy fuck. The studio really cares about the movie, and that is some very impressive stuff. But overall, the box office is at $1.378 billion. That is insane. It may very well cross 1.4 if it has a strong Labor Day weekend. That is really impressive, and I can't, I can't praise it enough. I love this movie. I thought it was incredible. As you can see, it's well above projections by an incredible margin, and it's in its 12th week of release and still, still going strong. Cannot praise Top Gun Maverick enough for this. And then Thor Love and Thunder really got cratering below expectations, below predictions. It's getting right about to the Thor Ragnarok level. Well, it's broken even. It did break even, which was supposedly around the 650 to 700 degree area. So it has made its money back, but barely. And it's really not looking good for this movie because it's only made $720 million and it's stopped. It's ground to a halt. So I definitely, I would be hard pressed to say that it can even get to 740. I don't think it was going to make it even to 740. And that's really bad for a movie of this caliber. These movies are made to be billion dollar box office movies. That's why their budgets are so insanely high. Anything less is a failure. So Doctor Strange is considered a failure. And so it's kind of disappointing, but kind of like, yeah, you deserve it for making such a shit product because Thor Love and Thunder was a shit product. And, you know, those numbers make sense, at least from my point of view, the 720 million. And it's really impressive to see. I love that the fans are saying no to that type of stuff. And we had an interesting breakdown in my last week's box office video about how the numbers uh, with inflation, the increase the price of tickets, that means that 30% less people went to see Thor Love and Thunder than went to see Ragnarok, despite their final grosses coming out to very similar margins. That's an interesting thing to see, 30% less. Some very, very interesting numbers in its six-week release, and it's already done. Top Gun Maverick is already doing so much better, despite being double in the theater's length of time. That's something really impressive. And Bullet Train, its budget is pretty pretty high, not super high. So uh, the break-even point for that movie is about 200, 250 million, and it's already started to slow down. It's luckily stayed within its predictions margin, so it's doing well. And eventually it might 
break even. It's still having some issues. It's starting to slow down a little bit. I, I don't know. I haven't seen the movie yet, but I intend to because I've heard some a lot of great things about it. But it, it's doing pretty average or above average for movies the last few years because people aren't willing to invest money in movies that aren't good quality like Top Gun Maverick. So Top Gun Maverick is very much an anomaly in today's Hollywood environment. Bullet Train has become the new average, the new successful film in this type of environment. Some really interesting numbers, really yeah, excited to see Top Gun Maverick still killing it, still breaking records this late in its game. And it's still got a few weeks left to get the Labor Day stuff going on, see if they can break some records there, which would be really interesting. I wonder if it could even break the second slot, maybe even the first slot. That would be really interesting to see how much money Top Gun Maverick can make. Thor Love and Thunder, I just see it cratering more and more and more until it's irrelevant at the theaters and irrelevant on these charts. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Anon. If you like what I do here and want to see good, compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern-day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book three, Kill the Dark, coming soon.